into boxing and I'm delighted to be joined by Zelfa Barrett. How are you doing Zelfa? Good man, you okay? Yeah, not too bad, thank good, you. Good. Here at the press conference for Chisora Parker too. You've got a big fight coming up against Bruno Torimo on December the 18th. Tell us a little bit about your, what you expect from your opponent on the night and how you see the fight going down. I expect great pressure. It's going to be in the face of every minute, of every second of every round. You know, I expect a hard 12 rounds, but you know, I expect to win because I've got the right capabilities, the right ammunition, the right tricks, the right game plan to win. But you know, I'm not disregarding how good he is. He's a good fighter. Obviously, it's a big card and you're back in front of your home fans in Manchester. How, how big a night is it going to be for yourself to be able to fight in front of your home fans? The biggest night of my life. It's the most important fight of my life. So for me to do it in Manchester and it's all my people, you know, that's my energy right there. So I was speaking earlier to Jordan Thompson as well about this and he was saying, is there a market now for another Manchester fighter to go and make the market me? themselves to be big? Looking at him. And, me, man. and fill the arena. Is, is that me. the aspirations that's for the me, next Yeah, man, you're looking at him right here. Um, I've done it the hard way, come up 50-50 fights, small hall shows, you know, um, jumps and TV shows, every single fight I've had now has not been an easy fight. They've all been tough fights, you know, down to um, Kiko, you know, the Irish fellow who boxed, you know, they've all been, Eric Donovan, like, they've all been tough fights, man, I've not had it easier fighting on TV and just getting walkovers, you know, so of course. Course. Obviously, you won't overlook December the 18th in your opponent, but Eddie alluded to Kiko Martinez. I know he's out on Saturday against Kid Galahad. Is that a fight that you'd like to go back and take in the future? Most definitely not. I was ready to fight him next here in Manchester. Um, he, he wanted the world title fight. He's got his world title fight. You know, I wanted to fight him for my own reason. Um, but when I win um, December 18th, I'll be fighting for world title. And when I win that world title, I don't need to go whack. I don't need to, you know what I mean? I'll be fighting whoever's contender. Whoever's made, is it my, my made manager to fight, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to go back. And, you know, he's got his shot what he wanted. Obviously, you are on the undercard of Derek Chisora and Joseph Parker. So while we're here, can we get a prediction from you for that fight? What, how do you see the main event going down? I was at that fight. It was a sick fight. It was sick. You could hear every punch and all that, but um, it's a good fight. It's a good fight, um, just the two executes the game plan better. Because last time it was just nip and tuck, everyone was, he'd get caught, then he'd get caught, and then, so whoever lands the most cleaner shots and the other executes the game plan will win. It's a good fight. I'd be a fan for that fight. I'd be sitting ringside on, so on someone's chair. <laughs> <laughs> and also, obviously, you've got stablemate Lyndon Arthur against Anthony R coming up in, in a few weeks. Um, how's Linda looking in training? Great. And awesome, sharp, fast. You know he's, he's hitting all the, um, the tick list that he needs to be ticked. Man, he's looking very good. Another win, another win, no doubt. Do you, do you think that he should have been taking the rematch? Or he should have had to have taken the rematch. No, he should have. He should have moved on to it like I am now, fighting for a world title eliminator or a world, a world title fight. But you know, things happen in boxing. You can't complain. You know he. You just got to get on with it. He's got on with it. He'll beat him again, and then it'll shut everyone up. All the doubters. There's no doubters because everyone knew he won anyway. But whoever thinks that he should fight him will shut them up. And then what now? That's what I'd say. What now? Beat the man twice. I mean. And also your other friend Sonny Edwards is Sonny fight, man. fight announced, I think this morning, going to fight in Dubai. Just give us your thoughts on that as well. Sonny's a bad man. Go, oh, the guys, the guys. Is, he's the way he mashed up that guy in his last fight. He could have been him, the guy couldn't even hit. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's just going to go and pepper this guy. And then, you know, wait for the unification fights. He's one hell of a fighter. He's one hell, hell of a horrible fighter to beat. Let me yeah. tell you, because he, 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 you get a hand of rice, handful of rice before him, he'll slip every single grain. He's just, he's just a hell of a fighter, man. So, yeah, um, I believe that you unify him. You're just waiting for his opportunity. He won't take the eye off this guy he's fighting. He'll, he'll beat this guy, and you know, he, he's on for the unification fights. Super. Well, self Barrett, thank you very much for giving in two boxing for me your time, and we wish yep. you all the very best on December the 18th, and we'll hopefully catch up with you soon. Of course, no doubt. Thank Thanks you very much. Nice one, nice one, yeah. nice one, nice one.